So, there's more talk about our economy literally going to hell. It's going... Everything's terrible. Everything's going to cost a billion dollars. We have the Houthis in Yemen shooting and stuff. So every, the prices are going to go up. Inflation's going to go up. So everything's going to go up. Everything's going to go crazy. Right? The migrants are going to keep on coming across our border. Okay. I'd just like to reiterate what I said previously. You can buy a loaf of bread for five bucks. You buy a thing of peanut butter for another five bucks. And you buy two loaves of bread. And it literally can last you an entire week. So you spend 20 bucks. 15 bucks. 15 dollars. Take 15 dollars. That can last you the entire week. But, ooh, but we have so many things. Bruh, there are literally millions of children, approximately 6 million children in Yemen right now who are literally starving to death. Okay? The amount of entitlement that the United States has, like, I have this entitlement too, and if I can get good things, I will get good things. I'm not going to not get good things because 6 million children are starving in Yemen. That will not change that. Me um, feeling their pain by not indulging is not going to change that. But we have to understand that it is a reality in 90% of the world. People starve. It is a thing. And it's a very simple solution to not. Right? I was like, oh, but I spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800 a week on groceries. So stop. It's that simple. Like, would I love my life? Again, 99% of the world throughout world history have always been starving. It's just been a thing. My grandparents were starving. Your grandparents were starving. My, my grandfather, when he grew up, they were broke as hell. That's just how it worked. It was normal. It was, you should hear the stories from the early 1900s of what they had to go through. It was absolutely insane. According to our standards, they were insane, that is. But throughout the world, they were living in luxury. You see, when you hear that the, 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 the immigrants were coming on the boats in the 1900s and the 1800s and America was the land, land of opportunity and the streets were paved with gold and it was amazing. And then they got here and we know how America was then and we're like, they came here and everything was terrible. No, everything was great. They weren't trying, they weren't getting murdered on the streets by the Kazakhs. You know, everything it was, you can actually get a loaf of bread on the corner. There wasn't like you'd go to the store and the, sh the shelves were just all empty. No, if you, if you worked hard, you know, you can actually get something. Now the Jews had their own problem because they kept getting fired every week because they just refused to work on Saturday because it was their, their Sabbath, their Shabbos, and they kept on getting fired at every job. That was a whole separate thing. But for the average immigrant, you get a job, you get paid, and it's hard work, and that's what life is. Life is a lot of hard work. For hundreds of years, and especially in, in Eastern Europe, the, uh, in Russia, and Ukraine, those type of things, those type of places, a lot of, especially Jews, they were all peddlers because of the job situation. But there were a lot of jobs. Like you, you put on the thing, you have your wares, and you travel around the cities, and then you come home once a month or once every six months. And that's how it was. And people were happy with that. And now in America, sometimes it's like, I want to work from home for like three hours, and then I want to make a million dollars. It was like, no, you buy two loaves of bread, you buy a little jar or something, and you're you're done. You're done. That's it. Okay. It's going to get hard because we have a terrible president, Joe Biden, who's literally destroying our economy. Okay, 100%, right? Our economy was great when Trump was president. We get it. Okay, but we don't have Trump now. We have Biden, and he did some bad policies. It's just a fact of life. It's not Republican. It's not Democrat. It's factual, right? Sometimes Republicans do terrible policies and ruin our countries. It didn't happen this time. This time, Biden ruined our economy, and we're going to have to deal with the consequences of what we elected. We elected Biden, now he ruined the economy, and now we're going to deal with it. But it's all right. It's okay. You can take a deep breath and live with it. You don't have to buy a, oh, I want a nicer house, I want a nicer car. You don't need those things. You just don't need all these things, okay? It's not how it works. It is harder, right? If you, Let's say you can't afford a car, so you have to bike to work. Oh, no, hell. Well, this is life. Life is harder. This is how it works. You can't say, I don't want to do it because I live in America and life should be good. Like 70% of Americans probably live below the poverty line, okay? It's like, they're not rich. You think they can afford a car? No, they all bike to work because they can never, it wasn't even in their minds. You know, these, the, the white, uh, the white, red, what, right, the white rednecks from like some random Oklahoma country, you know, like wherever, you know, I don't know exactly where they're, where they're all from, but I know that sounds a little bit racist. But like, do you think they can afford all, all the things that we, we can afford? No, I'm just telling you to do what they do every single day. That's literally what they do. 
they're also you know digging through to horse manure every every single day. I'm not saying to do that. That's pretty disgusting. But you know what? Very soon, because uh, if you look at World War Two, so the way it worked was from the World War One to World War Two of 20, 20 years, give or take. That was the Great Depression. So World War One basically destroyed every economy in the world, just like it. And so the whole entire world went into the Great Depression and it went for 20 years and then World War II happened and then everyone just went off to war. So there was no, you know, everyone was broke anyway, so we just blamed on the war. And then afterwards, it was the Great Rebuild, if you want to call it like that. And then everyone came back with the skills and things happened, you know, the world kind of went and shot up and we had all these technological advances and stuff like that. But we did have this 20 years of Great Depression. And if we're about to go through World War Three, this you think about the thing about the World War One was it destroyed everything, right? That's what World War One was, and so World War Two um, kind of rebuilt everything, because we destroyed it so much after World War Two that we had to say, okay, we're gonna rebuild stuff, and then we did, we did rebuild everything. So we're gonna about to go World War Three, and World War Three, well, that's the destruction phase, right? So we're gonna have two more wars. We're gonna have World War Three, World War Four. Again, the timeline is is a little bit murky. But, oh wow, feels drunk. So, my eye. So you have World War, you have World War Three, and that's going to destroy everything. It's going to be a nuclear war. And then World War Four, that's going to be the re rebuild war, where we destroy everything so much that we're finally going to say, okay, we're going to rebuild everything. Now you see, you can't do it the first time because World War Three or World War One, same equivalent, is we leave the bad people in some form of power. And so we're not allowed to go in and actually rebuild everything from scratch and create the new democracies and things like that. So it's still going to be a mess, which is basically like what happened with like Iraq and, and Syria and all those countries where we left those people in power or they still existed. And so when we tried to build a democracy there, those people came and kicked us out of the thing in Afghanistan. And so that's going to be World War Four, where we just, okay, you're bad, we annihilate you, right? Germany, unconditional surrender. Let's go everyone into the into the into you know we're arresting every german every german soldier everything just no 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 more power we're taking over we're putting in a puppet government in japan same story and that's how it works anyways um the point is uh stop complaining <laughs> that's it it's insane how many people online are complaining it's just it's yeah our economy will be bad and we'll deal with it and you'll just have to start spending less not a hard thing to do as the prices go up Buy less. Simple. Humans can survive on very little. And subscribe. So you can hear more of me telling you to stop complaining. <laughs> no, really.